There's a scam happening. Music artists have their Facebook ad accounts stolen. So here's what's going on and how to stay protected. Hey, it's John here at Hyped It. And as I'm recording this video, there is a massive scam happening on Facebook right now with phishing messages, which in several cases had led to music artists having their ad accounts stolen. I wanna raise awareness for it. I wanna make sure you don't fall into the trap of the scammers. This is happening right now. And so let me take you over to my screen and show you what's going on. This phishing scam is so massive that it's actually happening live while I decided to record this video. You can see that I'm in my meta inbox right now. This is where I can check all my messages from Instagram, from Facebook, from Messenger. And there's a new one that just came in a few minutes ago here, and I bet it's the same scam. And so here's what the scam is about. People are getting messages that claim that any of their assets on Facebook, whether it's a page, an account, or something is in violation of Facebook rules and is under review. And if you, as an unsuspecting user of Facebook or Instagram, want to resolve this situation, then they either give you a link to click or an email address to contact. And those links or email addresses, you guessed it, are not actually legit email addresses or links from Meta. So this one here is the perfect example. Your Facebook page is scheduled for permanent deletion due to a post that has infringed up on our trademark rights. We have reached this decision after a thorough review and in accordance with our intellectual property protection policies. If you believe this to be a misunderstanding, we kindly request you to file a complaint seeking the reinstatement of your page prior to its removal from Facebook. Please contact us via metahelp at pages-activations.net. We understand that this situation might impact your ongoing business operations however please be informed that if we do not receive a complaint from you our decision will be final thank you for your understanding and cooperation meta support team so i can totally see how people receiving such a message are freaking out, right? They are threatening with a deletion of your page unless you take action right now. But as you may have spotted, the contact address here is not actually a valid Meta email address. The domain pages activations doesn't seem to be related to Meta. And there are a few other things that give it away. First of all, this message comes from Esperanza Business Support. It doesn't come from Meta. If it did, it would say so. It would have the Meta logo in here. I don't think Meta would ever use a clicked radio button emoji the way they are doing it here. And then also notice how they left a space between dot and net. And they do this so that it's not automatically detected as a URL, which I think would give the scam away even quicker to Facebook's internal scam detection. But other than that, this is a pretty powerful message. It's written in clean English, it's precise. And so I can see how people fall for it. And what really fascinates me is, first of all, the volume at which these messages are coming through. You can see that, you know, just overnight, I got, you know, so many of these, they are all basically the same scam, but they come in all different shapes and forms. So let me go through a couple of those. I've shown you this one here. This is another one here. Dear admin, important notification, your Facebook page is scheduled to be permanently deleted due to a post that violate our trademark rights. So it's formatted slightly differently differently. It's also going to a different domain, in this case, support-businesspolicy.com. Again, you see the space here, so it's not automatically detected as a domain. It doesn't come from Facebook, it comes from Lucifer representatives. And so it's obviously a scam again. Let me see what else do we have. This one seems to be the same. This is just another one here. This comes from Facebook user. But again, no logo or picture here. It's not in a language I can understand, but it follows the same format. Now, what makes this even more powerful is that they use my page name in it. So you gotta beware even of that. Let me see what else I have. This one we already saw. This one here is yet another one. Actually, this one here also uses my name. It comes from Business Support Suites, which sounds unsuspecting. The contact email here is not a meta email. It's pagedadactive.com. And again, that little space here. So just overnight, I received one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those messages, many of them looking different. And I checked in with my team and they also received these messages. And this isn't new. This has been happening for a couple of days and weeks now, but I've seen a huge spike in the volume of these messages coming through. And that's why I decided to record this video here to raise awareness. Because here is the risk. The website malwaretips.com recently posted an article about this type of phishing campaign. And they point out that once victims enter their username and password on the phishing site, the scammers get full full access to their Facebook accounts. They can then leverage the accounts for identity theft, spreading malware, accessing personal data, messaging friends with more scams, posting fake news or reviews, reselling the logins on the dark web, or 
And this is why I think this is so important for us in our artist community here to hear about this, running ads. You know that I'm a big fan of running music ads on Instagram and Facebook to promote my music on Spotify. And so I have ad accounts on Facebook with my payment information attached to them. And so if I were to accidentally share my email address and password that I use for my Facebook account with someone that's not actually authorized to have access, then they could start running ads for whatever they want to start running ads in my ad account and I would pay for it. And that's why I wanna raise awareness for this attack to keep everybody safe. And now you might be wondering, John, how can I tell whether a message like this that I get is actually legit or fake? And so for one, I wanna point out that Facebook has a resource from it where they talk about protecting yourself from phishing on Facebook. And what they're pointing out is that any emails that are legit and coming from Facebook would come from fb.com, facebook.com or facebookmail.com. And let me add a few tips to this that can help prevent you from getting your login credentials stolen. One, of course, is two-factor authentication, right? You can activate that on your Facebook account so that every time you log in, it doesn't just require a password, but it requires another point of authentication, whether that is an authenticator app that you can have on a mobile device like this, or whether it's a phone number that texts you a code. That's actually a pretty good way to stay protected because even if somebody got a hold of your email address and your password, they wouldn't be able to get into your Facebook ad account. Second, if you're already logged into Facebook, which you are when you're looking at your inbox, then there should be no need to log into Facebook again. So if you click a link in any of these messages and it takes you to another site that pretends that you're now locked out of Facebook and they want you to log in again, that should seem like an instant scam because you are already logged in. And in my experience for my own pages and ads and other pages and ads across our artist community, if there is ever a violation and Facebook gives you the option for a manual review, it doesn't require a separate login. It all happens within the Facebook account that you're already logged in. Number three, watch for typos or grammatical errors. I went through a whole bunch of these phishing messages. That's a tongue twister. And some of them actually did have typos or grammatical errors in it. For example, that space between .com or .net that I pointed out earlier. And then four, check for missing personal details. A legit message usually addresses you with your full name. Now that can get a little bit tricky because as I showed you, some of these messages actually do address me by full name, but a lot of them also don't. They just said, dear admin or something like that which again, that's an instant warning sign. And now last but not least, what if you watch this video here and you remember, holy shit, I got one of these messages and actually did click and actually did fill out my information. What should I do now? And so here are the first three things that I would recommend. Reset your password, enable two-factor authentication to log into Meta, and then three, check your Facebook ad accounts to make sure there aren't any ads that suddenly appeared that you didn't create or mean to run. And so by raising awareness for this issue, I hope you don't fall into the trap of any of these scammers. Facebook ads are an incredibly powerful tool. The scammers know this. This is why they're trying to get access to other people's ad accounts. And so you wanna make sure you keep yours protected and don't give anybody access by accident who isn't actually authorized to run ads for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like, the subscribe and the bell icon below. And please also share this with other music artists who you know run Facebook and Instagram ads so that they can keep their accounts protected. And if you want to check out how to use Instagram and Facebook ads for good and discover how I use them to grow my music on Spotify from zero to now millions of streams, then check out this next clip right here. Want to get your music heard on Spotify with AI? I just launched a brand new video training program called the Spotify Grow Switch, where I show you how to start growing real listeners, real fans, and real streams on Spotify in less than 10 minutes using software and AI. I've used the Spotify Grow Switch system to now grow my music to over 7 million streams and tens of thousands of monthly listeners on Spotify. This works for any music genre. It gets you real fans and listeners super fast, and it's extremely easy to set up literally just like flipping a spotlight switch for your music. Despite using AI, you don't need to know nothing about tech stuff in order to be successful with this. I've had the tremendous privilege of helping multiple tens of thousands of music artists grow their music on Spotify, many of which have grown to much larger numbers, lots more listeners, lots more streams than I have using the systems that I've taught. Makes me so proud of their success. And so if you want to get more real listeners, real fans and real streams for your music fast using state of the art software and AI, then click the link below this video and check out the Spotify Grow Switch. I can't wait to help you grow your music on Spotify and I look forward to seeing you on the inside.